I currently work with my husband at our business. Already, it's a business. Um, I did previous study. I did an associate degree in tourism management at the Tobago Hospitality and the Tourism Institute, and so I'm just pursuing or furthering my studies and hopefully to have my own business, whether it's a restaurant like where you're working or a guest house or small hotel. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Yes. Anything else? Any other question you want to ask each other? No. Um, nothing really. Okay, Fatma, it's your first lesson. Okay. So let's, you know, first we'll revise uh, what we learn up to now and what we learn up to now. Okay, we learned about marketing, which is satisfying, which is basically around satisfying the needs and wants of customers that interact with us and our business. Um, we learned about the marketing mix, which pertains to services, which includes the seven P's, the product place, price, promotion, process, physical environment, and people. We also learn about the marketing concept, which is the, the philosophy that firms should analyze the needs and wants of customers and make decisions based on the needs and wants better than the competition. Um, what else? We did SWOT analysis, which looks at the internal and external um factors of a business we also do the pest the pest or pestle analysis um which more looks at the external environment and uh, you know the people um eco well not people um the marketing plan we looked at marketing strategies, strategic planning. Um, we looked at the what we call the BCG matrix, which has to do with the stars, question marks, cash cows, and dogs. Um, that's what we do. We looked at the Porter's Five Forces models that has to do with competitive rivalry, the threat of entry of competition, bargaining power of suppliers, bargaining power of buyers, and threats of substitutes. We looked at market segmentation, which involves dividing a market into parts that reflect different customers' needs and wants, which is further um, segmented into demographic, geographic, behavioral, and income segments. We looked at um, the product life cycles. We looked at branding and the ANSOF matrix. Brilliant. Well done. Great. So, Fatma, go through with you separate lesson as well. Okay. So, they will. Can you see my screen? Yes? Yes, I can see your screen. Yes. Okay, brilliant. Let's we'll start. So today we are going to discuss about our most of discussion will be based on service marketing. So within hospitality and hospitality industry is is consist of service industry really because most of the dominant thing 
in us hospitality hotel tourism industry is service is a service industry and most of the country no especially developed country relies lot of their gdp gdp is mean mm -hmm. the national income mm -hmm. is getting through service marketing through providing the services to the public mm -hmm. Fat fatma any idea how much uk gdp is through service marketing how much percent sorry uk national income how much is coming from service sector approximate i don't have an idea just a guess food and manufacturing and then manufacturing i don't have an idea okay just uh, because if you look in london how many bars how many clubs how many people traveling around from different parts of the world coming to London. Yeah. So is a service industry, UK, lot of chartered institute, those are delivering these qualification, which is one of them. We are a member and we are delivering this qualification, diploma in tourism and hospitality management, level five qualification. So hospitality industry is around 60 to 70 percent of UK GDP we are getting through hospitality through service industry is quite dominant is higher than the manufacturing industry UK industry is based on the services more instead of manufacturing in the past up to 90s 2000 even is more dominant was about manufacturing used to be a lot of textile industry used to be in the UK most of the these you know is closed these all factories is move around due to the high cost in UK. So now is more dominant in the service industry, providing different services. So today our lesson will discuss about what are the services, why service marketing is important, service and technology. We'll discuss about the different characteristics of services and we'll discuss about marketing which mix which we already discussed about but it's a slightly different concept when we are talking about specific and we'll discuss about why these are important as a marketer we need to look as a manager in a hotel or in a bar how we can manage mm -hmm. uh, explain what what services are identify important trend in the service industry explain the needs of special service marketing concept practice and why the needs as dual which will our major discussion will be focused okay, what is the definition of marketing which we'll already learn yes and sorry definition of, definition of marketing okay do we know definition of marketing? Okay, the process of planning and executing the yes. conception, um, pricing, promotion, and distribution of ideas, goods, and services to create exchanges that satisfy the individual's needs and wants and the organizational objectives. Okay, so key element in marketing concept is satisfying the consumer needs and wants yes. through profitably we earn the profit but major focus will be on the satisfaction of the client but selling concept is selling concept not focus on the satisfaction of the client we just focus on the numbers so we'll sell yes. more and more we earn more and more money but we not no concern about the customer satisfaction but in marketing we have a customer satisfaction if we work in a service industry especially in hotel a line is more dominant in on services less dominant on product with selling less product we are providing more services so what's what are the key element in service industry what do you think how we can make our business successful in a service industry um 
Marketing research. Well done. Marketing research. What sort of research? Um, well, probably primary research. Okay, well done. Primary research. So, what is meant by primary research? Okay, research that is done on hand by by individuals or focus groups um, that you get on hand now for a specific reason. So, for example, if it is you want to find out how customers like your products, you can ask them directly through interviews or such just to find out how they feel or how they're reacting to your product or services. Brilliant. So primary research we do to get the first hand information. Information never been used in the past. So if we have a if we have a open a new bar, new restaurant, new gym, so we need to find what are the customer satisfaction level. So we'll try to address if the customer satisfaction level low, we can't stay longer in the business because our competitor is offering them good value for money and they are offering good services. So that's why the primary research is a very crucial, which we'll try to go through when it's some you know research subject, how we can conduct the research. Okay. Today we'll first discuss about unsuff metrics because we'll do at the end of the lesson a bit quiz. You know, is a game which we'll try to play online. Okay. Unsuff metric. The guy name was the author's name was unsuff. He gave the mm -hmm. metric is called unsuff metric, which is quite good to be make our marketing strategies. Either we are in a service sector, either we are in a product sector. So those trades are very important and and leads to our, our marketing activities. So which we already discussed, Fatma, we are discussing. Are you there, Fatma? Yes, I'm here. So we looking the product and we looking the markets. Market marketing is an effort and market is a place where we sell the goods and services so yes. in, in, under this metric we're looking existing product our marketing stages we can make market penetration penetration means normally in pricing we use low price with low price we call penetration pricing which will go through marketing mix you know fatma you again as a separate lesson okay. so market penetration in low price so if we are if we are selling existing product in existing market we are not growing yes we are growing within existing market it's mean we are not expansion our market we're not moving into the new uh, countries new markets okay so one of the strategies we say What's the point to be start a business in another country because we don't know the culture, we don't know the language, we can't understand, you know, uh, and we don't have any research data. What is the purchasing power of the client? So that's why we'll focus market penetration, just existing market with existing product. Mm -hmm. Then we have a second market strategies we can make. We can go with existing product but into the new new market this approach is called a uh, strategy is called market development development means you are extending your market shares you are moving into the new market even because you are a dominant you know you have a best knowledge about existing product existing brand you just focus on existing brand mm -hmm. then third market strategies we can make product development product development means we we used to sell or we used to offer just a room service but now we have a gym we are we are offering a pick and drop service we make a relationship with uh, uber taxi service in london are like 
any other so we can look around the product development we're adding more product in our product line but we are selling those product within existing market yes existing yes. market then uh, next marketing stage is uh, we can make diversification our core business is a hotel business we provide services we sell food but we are going to involve in uh, international trade we are buying and selling goods as well and we are arranging different activities within so which those we not used to be those not our core product those we never sell it it's not our business hotel businesses mean just you know provide the services people stay serve the food yes those are the key key things we are offering the credit card we are offering the debit card we are offering loan to the customer so is the diversification of the bank services we are offering like hilton hotel they are offering cards to their clients as well partnership with their banks so diversification means is a different area different product we are diversified you this is marketing uh, of metric marketing strategies which we can design next we looking portal generic strategies which we can make for marketing and we'll try to be maximize our market shares so mean a generic mean basic types of competitive strategy that hold across many kinds of business situation competitive strategy is concern about the business anybody heard about sbus what is meant by sbus ever heard anything sbus no it's called strategic business unit business unit like if we have a toyota toyota have different models toyota have a toyota corolla any other toyota model come car yes toyota making different cars under the toyota brand toyota come so these is called strategic business unit each brand is one of business unit like hotel bar bar service hotel food hotel room service so these are sbus so those we can use different strategies and to maximize our market share and so according to the portal uh, according to the portal generic strategies we can focus on major these cost leadership we can focus on the cost leadership cost leadership mean we are offering cheapest thing in the market and we want to be leader most cheapest company most value for money company like royanair uh fatma yes royanair are you yes. aware of royanair yeah yeah yes. easy jet one of airline which is they selling tickets airline tickets very cheaper even 30 pound ticket from uk to france and yeah. <coughs> apart even sometime might be 20 pound as well so cast leadership so they focus on the cast leadership they want to be cast leader and they are cast leader primax is a cast leader yeah we have a cast focus cast focus you just focus on the one element not all the you don't want to be true out the market in one product you want to be focus you want to be sell then cheaper than your competitor that's the cost focus differentiation you want to be totally different than your competitor so if we want to be uh, what about the competitive advantage did we heard word competitive advantage yes i've heard it before okay what is meant by competitive advantage
Um, I think um, competitive advantage them the process of using using um using what um your goods against your competitors like for example like when you have some like using an hotel for an example when you have some things in your hotel that other people does not have those things that you've got you can use them as advantage over your competitors for your clients when yes. it's coming brilliant yes so competitive advantage you have any advantage against your competitor you can have competitive advantage against other european country because it's a english speaking country yes Yeah. All of the competitors, they have a different languages. Yes, might be in the world people not understand, but English is a common language, so which is people can understand. So is a competitive advantage. And every country have a competitive advantage as well. So we need to look around. Are we try to create a competitive advantage? Yes, you can. If you go any, you can book online. You can track online. You can cancel booking online. but might be the competitor not giving so we have a competitive advantage than other we have we have a we are offering value for money we are offering 20 pound a night room but other is offering 40 pound so competitive advantage can be come by lower cost or dif different so that's really we focus on any question no okay the last one differentiation focus so one is a differentiation differentiation you totally doing things different than your competitor like you know they have, they have a room they provide the room booking service but we doing within a room you can cook yourself yes within a room you have all the facilities but other competitor they not doing we are totally different take a different hotel different type of services we provide but differentiation focus is a just narrow we have only food different than other we do buffet other don't do buffet yes so those are our we have a 20 30 different foods so but other half Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. We always use in marketing. So next mm -hmm. example of service industries. When we are talking about service, we are not talking about just you know healthcare. Is there are many many service and service industries come many in different sort of industries under the service and hospitality or manage uh, tourism industry so hospital health care promotion professional services financial services hospitality under hospitality restaurant hotel motel bed breakfast all these are call it come under the service industry travel airline travel agencies theme park other are beauty salons and all these you know is called all these come under service and industry think about service industry so big yes compared to the manufacturing very narrow characteristic under service industry so we need to be focus on service industry seasonal some some service industries are very seasonal like uh, in in uk in summer lot of tourists come because the weather is nice so lot of sales is certain months is a very high sales happen or peak times in a hotel or service or hospitality industry 
So most of the A line, they increase their prices, ticket prices as well. Those are seasonal. So in the service industry, we need to identify what are those season when we have a supposed to be high demand. What about intangibility? Anybody knows intangibility? Yes, it cannot be touched, tasted. Yes, we can't can't touch, we can't taste. Intangible and service is intangible. We can't see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Tangible mean have anything have a physical substance, but the service don't have a physical substance. So that's why human behavior, human actions are very important. So to deliver the service. Yes, so always we'll say customer is a king and we are the servant. So in service industry, we need to be treated all other businesses as well nowadays, but in especially particular in service industry, customer is a king. If the customer is not happy with us, King will move somewhere else, yes? And we'll be out of the business. Okay. Next service is perishability. Perishability means anything which can be expired. So yeah. service is service is not provided at the spot. It's expired, yes? We'll say at the end, oh no, no, we'll provide you next time. But we didn't so we need to be on the first place. In spareability, we can speak from the product and the service. Service is, is intangible, is interaction with the people, or is HR oriented. Or if we don't have a people, those are good in the customer services, have a, have a knowledge, can understand the culture. Those are the marketing campaign, or we need to be focused on those factors. Variability. Is it the service we always provide, Sam? Service uh -huh. variability. Variability means uh -huh. service level always change. Yes. Is a human interaction. Sometimes, if we not, if we not happy home and we going for work. And our stress level is very high. Might be we'll treat you know the customer exactly the same. If the stress from the home, we'll try to be something you reflect on the work. So we need to be look around in the service industry. We need to be focused on points as well. So service in is interdependence. Service industry is interdependent. Interdependent on factors interdependent on the product and the services yes if you have a good product you have a very good services but you you deliver the product is not a good sometimes say oh yes you're a nice person but the product you sell to me sold to me is not a good quality mm -hmm. so we need to be focused next is supply exceeding the demand so we need to be focused on Think about when lot of demand in a hotel during Christmas, lot of room on New Year. So we need to be focused on how much is the how much staff we require. What service? So supply. We need to be focused and we need to think about the demand. Supply exceeding the demand. So so supply and the demand. We need to be focused on these factors and the demand and supply, lot demand and supply, high fixed cost. In some time in the service industry can be high fixed cost. What is meant by fixed cost? Fixed cost. cost that you have occurring every month, for example, uh, rent. Yes. Salaries. Salaries can be fixed. What is the difference between salary and wages? Salaries are hand every month and wages are end either daily or weekly <clears throat> brilliant yes wages normally hourly rate based on the hourly rate if we'll work mm -hmm. more hours we'll get more wages salary is a fix a yearly or monthly okay so next we're looking the role of marketing management in hospitality so we, if we need to if we want to understand we need to understand the driver of demand 
what are the driver how demands change so like in uk uk removes the visa restriction from the people from middle east like people from qatar from dubai uae they can come here without getting the visa so really? i guess is a good you know uh, last year and the year before so oh, yeah. so lot of people coming over the weekend just stay two nights here so qatar airline and a merits airline flies is a lot of demand oh yeah and even some people coming here because uk is very competitive in term of the shopping if you want to be next debnam and so many big chain big brand mm -hmm. is the price is even cheaper than dubai so some people saying what's up oh let's you know if i need to do a shopping on the weekend let's will move and we'll go there so in the uk hospitality industry is growing due to these due to these actions and lot of people they even in london lot of people they introduce the concept uh, home guest yes you can advertise you can set up your own website you have a you have a house in london and you can say okay home guest home guest facility is available where you cook and you serve our tour guide so we can look around might be in our country with the passage of time if the hospitality industry is growing so we need to look around how we can tour guide so might be we can set up the website we can provide the tour guide like you know services to various and the tourists and those we can get the certificate from the police department that's we are uh, are the criminal record is clear everything those in place and those and different people review so we can think about as a business as well okay happy okay and any question no no next we looking uh, we need to understand the consumer and customer what is the difference between consumer and customer um the consumer is the end product of um they the end users of a product the customers are the middle men between the manufacturers and the um, the consumer brilliant well done. so consumer is end user and customer can be anybody our parent buy stuff for us so mm -hmm. parent and customer and the consumer if we are using anybody who is using end of the product is called consumer are the middle man can be a customer and the consumer is end user increase the volume of transaction we can look around the bed nights cover serve number of passenger capacity levels how many passenger will come when will come when i have a high demand all these we need to and our marketing campaign need to be addressed these things mm -hmm. and uh, next Uh, these are all the factor we need to keep in mind when we'll advertise let's we'll move to next now you know try to see this slide so please just go to look the con contribution of service industry to us gross domestic product gross domestic product means simple just consider is a national income mm -hmm. so you will see their service industry is a lot of contribution uh, in the you in the national income like transport you will see other service include information entertainment professional and business services government mostly services manufacturing is 18% only agriculture is 7% finance and insurance is 20% if you add it finance and insurance service is a service industry other services information entertainment is service industry professional and business services is in, is education is a service industry transportation and these are even come under service industry as well so tangibility of course now we can keep longer but intangible is like a teaching just instant you know we need to action our action need to be 
these few example why service marketing service marketing is a dominant service business is quite focus and quite grow is move next now these are the different graphs in different years how much is the worker in the service industry is working in millions in us and all these are the big brand in the service industries companies and gamel is one of the manufacturing but they are providing side by side service as well uh, these are different uh, concept so we need to look around we need to be competent we need to be efficient we not in inefficient we need to look around these things you know focus on the efficiencies actually looking key element in the service in industry these are the thing intangibility we need to be focus on give book i'll send you via email so okay. please it's a hospitality marketing this book is title hospitality marketing and we looking the service marketing one second i'll let you know the page number as well uh we can find service so is a good you know you can search uh service is part of discussion about service is one chapter on that product special characteristic of service industries and at a pace pace please want to do so as well hat mal separate lesson view we kept so this all is the ability play by to be independent we take the variety of travel and the see see it depend each other like travel industry and hotel industry each other tourist tourist tour guide those they are interdependent each other high fixed cost some area so we need to learn the road market as it's left discussion their driver so please read this bit a company we can say page page on page 22 to page 3 so service cannot be invented country our service can can't be stored just you know quick fire so we need to be focus so do you know marketing mix yes i do okay so marketing mix the initial concept for we focus on the product price promotion and place can we log in on the app on google Google search box and provide output. I can see it properly. Can you see on my screen? Yes. Okay, please. Can you log in on your? uh if you're on tablet or phone whatever just search box and it will open the website oh, just one second you want me i can send you the link here 
Have you managed to? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, waiting for the game pin. Yeah, can you do the game five two eight six one nine seven? Five two eight six one nine seven. Please choose your nick. Any nickname, whatever you like to. No, I just use my normal name. Yes, one player there. So now, or oh, both players there. So yes. Yes. So, okay, please make sure you just just come on. phone or whatever you using and you will get the point which are four stages and sub matrix generally thought to be involved the highest risk so please so you have two minutes to answer and you can pick you know the which option you want okay good well done both right yes You not get this point. Oh. I was up by part? accident though. <laughs> okay. Let's oh, go, okay. go to next next question. A stage of differentiation is likely to involve each of the. A stage of differentiation is likely to involve each of the following except three bonds. Three bonds. Following. Following is standard product. Um Yes, we have forty second, thirty eight second. Come on, one person left still to answer. Give answer. Yes, well done. Oh, I'm not getting points. No, no. Okay. Which of these business? That thousand points. Strategy of course leadership. Uh, I think so. Fatma might be also. You can guess as well. Which of these business? I see strategy of 
cost leadership which one is a cost leadership right uh, yes i think so i have mentioned name as well during our discussion well done so yes fatma you got 935 yes points okay no problem i think it should go to existing products and existing market is known as attempting to go sales of existing products in existing existing market. product in existing market is known as attempting to go sales of existing product sales of existing product okay so you know that no my kids are well done correct what's the answer and product development yes oh, okay Porter final question what are general strategies associated with aiming to be the lowest cost operator differentiation strategies cost for cost differentiation for cost cost lowest cost, cost operator so please just focus for the generic strategy is a strategy with aiming to be is aiming to be lowest cost operator so it's count oh yes one of you might be tick not two out of five one out of five it's a just a matter of might be we just you know because we played first time yes and uh, when we do background reading and next time we can play again yeah yeah so today we learn about uh and then we have focus on key elements heterogeneity perishability we can't story so simultaneous productions and consumptions so these are the key things we need sorry, to be sorry, focused are we going to get sorry? all the slides are we going to get all the slides at the end of the hello hello Yeah. Which slide? I mean the the, the what's the code? The handout. Four points. Oh, she's asking if it is you are going to send the handouts for us at the end oh, of the yeah. class. Oh, yes, Fatma. Sorry, I think this device off. 
focus on um, I'll go through separate you know as well so okay. I'll send you feedback I'll send you feedback then you can start in the demanding task okay when I'll give okay. you the feedback and I'll send you some handouts as well okay uh, any question That's so Fatma I'll try to arrange one lesson more you uh, which will okay. go through separately in those things we already covered okay now i'll show you how we can structure our assignment and uh, how we can address the outcome in which we supposed to okay assignment so please um bring you this, this book as well so please just get doing background reading first okay mm -hmm. and uh, we we'll try to arrange you send the, the title to the email Sorry. Can you email the title of the book and then the page? Yes, I'm going to send you now, you know. Okay. Page number 22 to the book, you know. Which I'll try to upload on the mood. Do you still? Okay. Well, Oh, we have access on Moodle or not? Do we know how to use Moodle? Yes. Okay, so please, lot of stuff on Moodle as well. If you look under level 5 OTHM, and you will find, you know, all the stuff there. Yes. So please uh, go through and mm -hmm. this lesson is a recording. Did us, you know, our last Roman to send you email as well, you know, recording. Okay. So have a nice weekend. Good weekend. Thank you. Same to you. Hope and, you enjoy uh, have, a nice, uh, have a nice time. So I'll send you the link and I'll try to send you a few case studies to read as well. Okay. 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 So in case if you have any question, I'll give you my email and number as well. Okay. Okay. Have a nice time. Right. Thank you. Good thanks. Night. See you. Bye bye. 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 Yes, I am done.